Sasha with you. Uh, welcome to the second lecture or the second part for uh, concentrated solar power for um, uh, desalination processes MED, reverse osmosis, and multi stage flash beside power generation. Uh, you have to go to your uh, open MATLAB first and uh, go to your folder destination from here. Okay, specify your folder. Okay, work your your working folder and uh, uh, okay, it's uh, here. Yes, this one and uh, sort by name and group by type and you will find this uh, version two. This is your uh, working uh, model. So. Now we are ready. Uh, uh, in the first part, we demonstrated that uh, uh, what is our uh, main configurations in these systems. Just for reminding, uh, we have uh, solar uh, solar power, parabolic turf, and uh, solar tower. We have two storage uh, uh, mediums for uh, molten salt, evaporator heat exchanger unit, and um, this is a steam cycle, steam ranking cycle. This is molten salt cycle. We have turbine unit, turbine unit, and desalination plants, um, MED or um, multi-stage flash, acting as a condensation uh, process, and water desalination production. And we have um, reverse osmosis and uh, loads, reverse osmosis and a main grid as a loads on turbine units. So, um, desalination plant uh, is uh, are responsible for um, mass flow rate through the cycle. And uh, reverse osmosis and the main grid are responsible for uh, power generation or load on the turbine unit. Okay, today we are going to um, let's try um, uh, dynamic modeling in order to uh, discover what is the main effect on uh, the cycle. Uh, be sure to uh, uh, I'm not going to reassigning um, uh, the inputs because we. We already did this before in the previous video. We have to uh, turn, return it back to our previous video and check uh, what is going on. Let's go for uh, parabolic trough solar field and multi-effect and uh, reverse smooth, of course. I, 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 I'm, I'm trying to change some parameters uh, with respect to the time limits. And I, I'm trying to discover uh, the results, some results. So, in order to discover your results in uh, time domain, you have to set your simulation time into infinity, INF, or whatever you would like, uh, 10 seconds, uh, 100 seconds, uh, it's up to you. You can set also your simulation time from here, from uh, uh, configuration parameters. You, uh, you can go to the solver and start time and uh, end the time or stop time. So I will I will set my stop time into uh, infinity. Okay, and uh, I have to uh, send my signals uh, to uh, data inspectors. Therefore, I have to go block by block. I will uh, do this. This is specific bulk consumption. Just to click on on uh, the stream, and you have to or double click in order to name this stream. You have to write uh, specific power consumption and kilowatt hour um, yeah, or meter cube. Uh, you can also uh, okay the specific power consumption. Okay, and um, this is the first step, and the second step is to click here, and you will find stream signals you can check here or just click on the signal and going here and uh, stream select the signal to data inspector so you will realize this small uh, square so your output uh, will be stored on uh, with respect to the time limits in your data inspector so you 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 will be able to handle and uh, uh, use it and the same for gear ratio you can but I will I have uh, another idea but you, you we can click here and you have to add name uh, this is our gain uh, ratio okay let's go for the solar field uh, we have uh, two solar fields as uh, we showed before uh, let's begin for uh, solar tower okay 
we have a lot of outputs so you have to select your output from here you can select your output so I, I named the, this stream before so I just click here and click stream uh, signal and uh, let's go for outlet in Salvi mm, or thermal load let's go for thermal load on solar field and uh, reversibility you can add exergy efficiency exergy output uh, field efficiency you can uh, reflectors uh, total area uh, convection uh, energy radiation energy and thermal power loss for the solar field and you can go here and uh, let's go for uh, some outputs uh, but tower costs it's fine and uh, number of heliostates you can add it's up to you uh, uh, total area total field area absorber costs and uh, absorber area transportation costs and uh, let's go for uh, okay that's fine for sure let's go for uh, propolic solar feed we can add the same if you'd like and uh, okay uh, I, I will show i will show my, uh, the, uh, the, my example on uh, uh, concentrated solar tower let's show this okay um, order to yes uh, storage this is a uh, uh, mass of storage element you can add here you can call the storage it's up to you evaporator okay, okay the same you can add the same turbine unit i need this one what is your install i i am you have to do this the same but i'm just uh, picking some examples uh, outlet turbine and uh, dry inspections is this is very important uh, okay let's go for desalination we have uh, multi-stage fill as your uh, med you can use you can use this uh, check all of them at once and click here and stream selected to data inspector and you will realize this for multi-stage fill as you can also pick this one and stream selected to data inspector okay and let's go for med uh, you have uh, 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 overwhelming um, uh, data you can uh, uh, choose and select and discover your results here okay uh, but don't uh, don't forget to add uh, extreme uh, stream signal uh, uh, before sending the it to the data inspector uh, uh, okay, for multi stage fields, you have many, many of uh, outputs. You can use this one. You just an example profile temperature. Uh, okay, and uh, get height, brine pool, uh, stage lens. Okay, and uh, okay, so that's enough for this brine heater. We have a, a lot of brine heater. You can select this and click and select data to the uh, data inspector okay i this is uh in salvi for kilojoule i'm sorry kilojoule per uh, uh, kilogram and pressure here is in the is in bar okay don't don't uh, 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 put semicolon or colon here on the signal because it uh, it will show you an error okay and uh, brain heater uh, thermal energy you can add this one also okay uh, brain heater area you can add this one okay okay and um, that for bumping power okay and uh, reverse osmosis let's go for uh, reverse osmosis specific bulk total membrane area you can add uh, and uh, pressure difference across the membranes or uh, uh, high pressure bump on uh, the reverse osmosis uh, m feed on uh, reverse osmosis brine salinity average salinity so i i will add this okay and um, uh, okay just uh, fine for this one cost considerations most important we can uh, click all of these uh, just uh, CF CF we can we have to add CF 
see if uh, it's, is it in uh, it is in dollar per hour okay okay so I I will check all of these and add to uh, that aspect okay so uh, I prepared some elements so we have to uh, uh, check our result with respect to the time domain so let's go for uh, multi stitch multi effect or multi stitch fillers start you let's go for multi stitch fillers first I will first of all we have to go here mother block double clicking and uh, I'm sure okay um, mother block okay and uh, double clicking I will choose to change uh, okay and let's go here and uh, reduce the salinity for example okay and then open I, I will uh, open turbine unit in order to discover the effect on uh, dryness fraction I need to watch uh, the dryness fraction what is going on because this is my question okay I will hit run and uh, I'm sorry I have to double clicking again this mini should be appear uh, um, along my run so I'm sorry 6000 okay so I have to go here open turbine unit and then hit back here and set apply okay so I will hit run and try to change uh, some operating conditions uh, some uh, parameters uh, in order to watch uh, the effect on dryness fraction okay let's hit run and see Let's hit in ground and see our results. Okay, this is your time limitation. This is your time counter. Okay. Uh, well, wait. Yes, this is your time counter. So this is our drainage fraction. Let's begin with uh, productivity. I will increase productivity. Increase productivity. Uh, just to click here and uh, try to move your cursor right or left oh, okay i'm increasing productivity of the thermal plant uh, okay okay increasing productivity would increase uh, dryness fractions over one so i i need uh, let's begin for uh, increasing uh, productivity of the reverse osmosis if we increase meaning uh, increasing the power so increasing the productivity of the reverse osmosis Okay, increasing productivity uh, through the reverse osmosis would uh, decrease the dryness fraction, has a, its effect on dryness fraction and outer temperature too. Okay, so, so therefore uh, we can increase the load power. So the turbine can provide us with power. Okay, with uh, increasing. Don't forget that we we to be over 100 and. Uh, 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, I'm increasing the power. Okay, increasing the power. Okay, so drainage fraction uh, would decrease. Okay, okay, that's quite normal. And uh, let's begin. We can decrease also the productivity from the same plant a little bit. Why we can decrease it a little bit? Why? and uh, we can um, change um, temperatures let's go for uh, um, uh, superheat temperature uh, suppose i need to decrease superheat temperature i'm decreasing yes it would decrease uh, condensed condensation steam suppose i i will decrease condensation steam yes decreasing condensation uh, would increase uh, 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 the drainage fraction, okay. Uh, a turbine inlet temperature, let's uh, decrease turbine inlet temperature, it will decrease the uh, drainage fraction, okay. Decreasing, yes, increasing drainage fraction, increasing temperature. So, and let's hit stop, okay. You can click here on that inspector, you will find your results uh, stored here in uh, MATLAB workspace how can we do this you can go in here you can go here in model explorer click here and you can choose your uh, block and you can uh, click 
in any parameter you would like to store in MATLAB workspace and click on description and save your final value to uh, workspace uh, as you can see it's save uh, final value to workspace and you will find it out okay let's return back to data inspector and see our results so we can handle our results with uh, respect to time so you will find all streams that you uh, already uh, picked so for you can uh, choose many many parameter to address as you can see here so you can address your parameter I, I, I will uh, this is enough okay let it be uh, nine parameters also fine okay in order to uh, show this is a uh, pressure on reverse osmosis changing because we changed the power okay and this is a uh, power on reverse osmosis and uh, this is feed mass flow rate and uh, brine mass flow rate through the reverse osmosis uh, salinity brine salinity average salinity you can uh, realize the change let's go for uh, gear ratio changing specific power consumption changing uh, brine heater changing as you can see here brine heater area thermal uh, load on brine heater uh, let's add more results let's add more results and uh, this is a, um, a specific bulk consumption okay and uh, uh, absorber area for the solar field uh, some cost parameters cost of absorber receiver cavity temperature uh, convection radiation and thermal loss okay uh, thermal load on uh, solar is uh, considered solar tower and uh, field efficiency and uh, we have uh, let's go for some uh, cost analysis uh, water price changing uh, uh, unit product cost for uh, msf reverse smoothies you can compare to you can also ha add uh, a data cursor so you can uh, move your cursor left to right in order to you have to you can compare your results you can make another run if you would like you can make another run and compare the same results on the same figure uh, one for med and one for multi-stage so I, uh, I i i will delete all here as you can see delete all, deleting all yes uh, that's enough for uh, nine figures and closing so if you uh, look in, uh, in each block, you can you can realize your final results here. As you can see here, your final results, you will find it here. Okay, so your results everywhere here. Okay, so I, I will make another run for MED and um, one one for MED and one for uh, uh, um, um, uh, multi-stage flash in order to compare. Let's go for first multi-stage flash and see. Uh, for for you have to uh, clicking here. Let's go for turbine unit. I'm sorry, I have to change make slight change here. Slight change and going to the turbine unit because this is my cushion. And from here I will hit apply. Okay. So I will uh, run my uh, uh, my model and then I will change, uh, make some changes. Okay, so I will uh, uh, decrease our productivity and uh, the load. I will uh, increase the load. Okay, increasing the load. Okay, let's increase the load. A load on main grid. Okay, I'm increasing so. Uh, Drainage friction will decrease as you can see here. Okay, and decreasing again. So then I will uh, go here to uh, desalination and uh, I'm sorry, and go here and uh, check um, check for uh, MED. I'm sorry. I, I have to wait because yes let's go for MED so our results can change immediately returning back to the turbine unit 
I realize difference so we can uh, let's decrease uh, or increase decreasing temperature okay no, no, I'm increasing uh, early temperature to the turbine unit okay increasing because for MED I need just 80 degrees Celsius as you can see 90 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius as a steam led to the MED uh, as you can see here, the line is fraction no I'm sorry, I have to go up, up to 80 degrees Celsius for uh, reasonable results 40 degrees Celsius, it is not quite interesting that's increasing yes uh, 90, uh, 69 or 70, 82, it's quite good. Okay, let's stop our run and we can uh, see our results. Let's go here and we can realize uh, steam as well. You can find many, many parameters. What is this? Uh, there's no results for uh, MSF, but there's uh, some results for uh, MED. This is MED, as you can see here. Uh, and Salvi, okay, uh, mass, steam mass flow rate, as you can see here, steam mass flow rate. There is a change in uh, steam mass flow between uh, MSF and MED. Let's go for it. This is a, a turbine, temp turbine temperature uh, fluctuating. And Salvi also fluctuating. Uh, total area of the solar field changing. So you can compare your runs. You can make one run for MED and put your results here, and one run for MSF, and you can compare uh, the difference. So you can you can send your figure, send it to a figure as you can see here from here. Allow me to uh, yes, you can click here, send it to a figure. And from sending to a figure, you can control a capture, you can control line width, click on uh, properties and plotting tools. And you can compare, you can edit, you can change line uh, width. It's up to you. You can uh, add a more a more uh, caption. This is line. You can change your color and you can uh, control your results. Um, finally, I would like to thank you very much and uh, for testing our model. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, uh, thank you very much.